Hi everyone, this is the Psychic Sleuth, and today I'm doing the third reading on Suzanne Morfu. And I did it November 12th, 2020. I I think I'm with you guys when I want to call her Suzanne Mormon, but she's known as this, so that's why I'm going to be putting it on my videos. But I agree, I don't like her having that last name anymore. Uh, I, I've noticed that people are saying that, and I completely agree with that. My links are going to be at the bottom if you would like to donate and you, you feel, you know, like you would like to and you can it's there you don't have to also you know butterflies I thought this was really interesting to wear today because butterflies are the sign of transformation to spirit so as we know it's a sign for many people and I don't know I thought this was would be interesting to wear today as I do this reading for her because she is a beautiful spirit but also it's a sign of spirit Things can be past, present, or future. They can also be symbolic or have more than one meaning. People mentioned can be can be connections as well as places that are mentioned. Puzzle pieces should be put together from all the readings and lives in order to get a clearer picture. I tried my best to focus on maybe one area, but she still seemed to give a couple. I do get interconnects, so it is it is possible that some stuff may not fit here. If I mention names known or areas known, I only say it because I hear or see it. I do only say things if I see them or hear them. I try to remain as blind as possible if I can. I have been on the map a lot, so hopefully I'm not pulled by anything that I'm seeing. However, um, I do keep getting drawn to the same places over and over again. And when I do the reading, I try to forget all of that. So. I did notice it's kind of harder to connect with her. The first reading that I did, it was very vivid. It was like I was in a movie and very strong. And it hasn't been a strong sense. Why, I don't know. Like I said, I think that everybody's just trying to work with her and get more information. And so I think that it, it's draining her a little bit. So I try to do the best that I could. Um, so she was coming in because I felt pressure on my throat, but was sort of slow with the information. So I don't know, like I said, if that's the reason or what, but she was mentioning toiletries. And remember that spirit will say things to reference how we make sense of them. And when I heard that, I kind of thought of Walmart and in Sedalia, I hope I'm saying that right, I keep going to the Walmart there. I don't know why I keep going there, but it made sense later on after I figured out what was next door. <laughs> so couldn't figure it out, but I kept being drawn there. So um, I, anyways, I saw bags being carried out of the store. I found it, you know, weird at the time, but like I said, once I realized what was next door. So, but once I looked there, next door. Sorry. Um, I got extreme stomach pain, like really bad, and I don't know why. I know that he works with those people in the con the contract business, but it hurt so bad I had to lay down, and after I lay down for a little while, it went away, but it like hit me like a ton of bricks. It was really weird. I feel more with her than I've ever felt with any other spirit or reading that I've ever done with my body. I don't know if that means I'm growing or she just... I just... I don't know, I feel things deeper on the map with her, everything. So, usually she comes in hotter, like I said, but I was struggling. So last night, when I was relaxing, she spelt out Indiana. This is before I did the reading. Now, I, I don't know if this is because of the actual state and why she keeps talking about it, but I also keep being reminded of the road by the wall that's called Indiana. It could even be both, and I'm not saying the wall at all, but just that road there I don't know if she's trying to say something about that road because she spelled it out and she was taking me to that road so it could be that she's trying to tell me Indiana so that I will I don't know I, I haven't figured it out yet but um so then she took me on a curvy road it looks like it's in between two mountain mountains kind of what I saw in Gannon and I hear the word evergreen loud and clear she's here because my head and my face feel her like meaning like I felt like I was being punched but I also feel like I'm on a super windy road 
Looks like it's got some areas where it's between mountains, main, main two-lane highway. She shows me a bear again, but this time it's shown as a teddy bear face. But I know it's for bear, because that's usually how they show it to me. There are multiple meanings for this, I feel. She, because it, it keeps coming in. She also makes me hear a river. It's rushing, and I can feel the mist from it. The road seems to travel along the river, and it's windy. I don't know. This was a really weird vision, and I really don't know why I got it. But um, Barry was eating chips in the truck. I don't know how it's relevant, but it was like I was sitting next to him, and he was eating chips, and I could hear them crunching. I don't know. Super weird. It was like, it was like I was sitting right there, and I could hear it. It was the weirdest thing ever. Um, so, I hear, I hear the name Trevor knows, so I feel like Trevor has an inkling and may be connected to areas or knows something important. I hear the word Canada, so I don't know how that fits or would fit at this, but I heard the name. Um, it could be a street or something, I have no idea. So, the road is windy and the river runs alongside the freeway road. It's two lane. I feel um, as I'm going like would be you know up the map if that makes sense I'm horrible at directions but you know towards Denver in those areas not back the other way the river is on my right if I'm looking at the map but and if I'm driving that way like this way but the mountains are to my left the river is on my right and the mountains look blue and when I looked at pictures with all the trees it did look that way so that was kind of weird and interesting but she kept showing me his white truck so I don't know if he moved her after he got it or this is where there's something about that's happened since he's had it but she was showing me him in the white one when he was eating the chips and when he was driving so I hear lots of construction um, machines like you would hear if they were running construction and you're really close to it Motors are pretty loud. And I was getting pain in my stomach below my ribs in the middle, sharp pain. So I think when I hit on something, I'm getting a pain for some reason. So I could hear the river or water, and then I can hear machines or constructions of some kind. And I feel like maybe as I'm talking to you guys, I'm kind of in the middle of all that. I'm kind of not far from water, I can hear it, but yet I can also hear the machines. So I'm like in between the river and the machines. I don't know if that makes sense. And then woods. And then if I look over the woods, this way, because see, I'm, I'm standing and I'm going to be facing the highway, okay? And if I look over, my, over the woods this way, there's a reference to a golf course. Um, she references golf again. She shows me someone swinging a golf club. So it's close to a golf area. You could see it in an aerial view, or like I said, it would be, I feel like it would be to your right or in that vicinity. Because she, it felt like she had me on a map and she was kind of showing me where things were. But it feels familiar like he or his buddy's golf there. And she's showing me sewing machines. I don't know what that means. So I keep getting pulled to the water in the picture I was looking at. Now I posted the picture for the video. It'll be the first picture. And then in the group it's connected to what I typed out. Um... I don't know why. It's, I'm not saying she's in water because I've never felt she's in water. I'd like to know when that picture was taken. But it was her wearing white and the background was water and woods and green behind her. So I'm going to post that picture on the video. If anybody could find out where it was taken. I, I don't know if we can even find that out. But So she's not in water but there's water close by because I can smell it. Like how it would smell fresh and maybe hear it. Of course not when it's frozen but when it's running. I can feel the dampness of it but again not in water she references a pond which has been referenced three times now I feel like it's over across on a different side maybe over across the other side of the freeway and I don't know if the I don't know if the house she showed me in the last reading was because she could she was showing me like from a house I don't know if that property has anything to do with it if there's she's at that property or she's just saying you can see the pond from it and the pond has significance because she keeps showing me this pond um but she was showing me like a map and we have multiple places but she's trying i'm trying she's trying to focus on one so for now 
and go from there, she says. So I try to push it away, but she keeps showing me two, and then she shows me a river. And she says, they've been, a, they've been all around me, but not on me. Like, not exact right location, but close. Hope I'm not getting this because I was drawn there. But, um, it was kind of interesting because when I was telling you guys about the reading that I did where I remote viewed to where a body was found. We didn't know she was found at the time. But, we found out afterwards. Um, one thing about that reading that stood out to me that I feel is an interconnect is she had kept saying two rivers crossing and the lady was found because I kept looking for the where the rivers intersected right because it was a reference point I felt so I kept looking for that and I found it and I said a little bit after that and that is where she was found but she whenever she, after she kept saying where the rivers cross I heard Suzanne so I felt like maybe she's trying to say that something is an interconnect with this reading or with this remote view that I was doing so I found out that the new development is two rivers so I thought that was kind of interesting and an interesting interconnect so I tried to remain not focused on that when I was doing the reading but I did hear two and then she showed me a river so remember that I can get reference points so it doesn't necessarily mean they did that exact area but we can get within miles or whatever so um, she like I said she says they've been all around her but not on me like not exact right location but close and I feel maybe a few times so I hope I'm getting this because I, I was <laughs> I was drawn there but she kept showing me like she's in my head this is when you were looking at this area and this is when you were looking at that area and she's reminding me of it kind of weird I know but I kept being drawn to Logie's Gulch and she kept reminding me of when that happened so um but she was spelling it out in my mind in green like it is on the map so she sh and she also shows me a headstone but she says it's further up this way like diagonal um and then, like i said i really think she is describing where i've been looking and then i was getting the name clark and i i don't know where that fits and i feel like she's um taking and showing me areas on a map i definitely hear construction construction was really big in this so that is really loud. I kept hearing machines. So there may be some being presently worked by her or has been. But it's going on on, near, or around her. I hear words, his property, and then she says development. Then she says hillside. I also see a reference to people in orange again. So I don't know if she says that people have... I don't know, I don't know if she's saying searchers or construction workers. I don't know who wears the orange, but that's twice now so she says people have waited in water I just don't know if she's saying they did this by her or they just did this but she's taking me back to the map where I saw Bear Creek by the new development for some reason it was behind me and I only saw it on earth not on the regular map so I don't know why but she reminded me and took me backwards to that for some reason no idea so I wonder if the man-made waterfalls are done, or if there's some kind of brick or stone, light reddish, almost pink. <laughs> I know you're having a hard time focusing on me because of this, huh? That time of night. Um, this is what happens when you decide to do the video at 3.34 in the morning, so I do apologize. Anyways, so light reddish color, almost pink. I don't know how to describe it, but I keep seeing that waterfall, and it's man-made, and I wonder how much of it is done, if any. But I hear paver stones. And then she brings my attention back to the trees planted. So there must be something under where they were. Or I said, okay, tell me where you are. And she says, by his work. So I know he has his own landscaping business, but where maybe where, where he's presently working or where he was working at the time. I know the trees are important because of that live that I did. So keep that in mind, please. Um, like I said, I don't know if that means by the office that he's working with, that's where I got my stomach ache, if it's been checked, or by his work site. Um, she's mentioned work site a few times, and she said he's putting on a show to scare people, but honestly, he's the one that's scared. 
She says he knows that people have been close and are closing in. He's shaking in his boots, and she laughs. But then again, at the same time, he's so narcissistic and arrogant that he doesn't ever think that he'll be caught or that she'll be found. Um, but I think he has that worry in the back of his mind that she will be, and he's going to go to jail. So she has that kind of... Oh. He's shaking in his boots and she laughed. She has that kind of special laugh when he laughed. When she laughed or smiled, she lit up a room. She had a few girlfriends that were close to her that she wants to thank you for being who you are. And I feel some have really fought for her what she sees and is thankful for. She says, don't worry, I've got my father and I hear Jean. I've heard that word all day, but so confirmation for those wondering, wondering if there will be yellow flowers at the funeral because she shows me some on a casket can be symbolic but as I'm typing I hear he's a gentle man and happy to be reunited with me going to try and wrangle her back in to the location because we were getting off track she says job site job location also if C has job location same as Barry I'd be curious also everybody is innocent until proven guilty Okay, these are just my psychic impressions. I did forget to mention that. Um, she also shows me a rainbow. No idea why I heard the word garden. Uh, I hear words, victory is ours. I feel like she feels like she can be found if clues are followed or that there can be some kind of justice brought one day. I hear everyone keep saying the wall, but and I saw so I was asking her, but she shook her head for me. I don't feel that's right. It really doesn't make a lot of sense if you think about it, considering when it was finished, but she's never shown me that. Not saying anybody's wrong or anything, I'm just saying as a psychic, I go by, or as a psychic medium, I go by what I get, and she's never personally shown me that. Um, it doesn't mean it's not right or something's not there, I'm just telling you. I'm going by what, what I get. So she shows me that he did bury her. Okay, and then again, I think she's talking about multiple areas in this reading two so far. I'd be curious to know where the job site is or an office where they present they are presently working or have worked lately. She shows me a church again, so there is something strong about that. But one thing I do feel is she's surrounded by trees because I'm trying to stand where she is or go where she is and she shows me she's surrounded by trees. She does keep saying new development. I'd be curious if that waterfall is done. It keeps coming up, but it seems to make me feel strong she seems to make me feel strong about that or that area around that area she says she will be in places that he's familiar with because he didn't want to be seen going anywhere weird or obvious plus the legal hoops that could have been that would have to be jumped through as i'm typing i hear he's thought of this for a long time she says he's not stupid but in a way he is because when i'm found it will be obvious i hope i was hearing that right so he's familiar and she again shows me two. But then she references two men separately, T and C. She puts them all together, so three standing there. Like they all know something or have some answers. She says they are afraid of bar Barrier B and other people. She begs them to speak up, although says they are cowards. And then so I try to wrangle her back in again because she's upset that they aren't speaking up uh, and it's mostly like she wants justice for people that are left behind um, and for him to learn his lessons but I would be curious where this picture was taken that I used on the video because she kept taking my attention to behind her to the area behind her so I don't know why but she did so she feels less and less strong every time for some reason like I was saying, she shows me a wooden plank. I'm not sure why. She shows me a rabbit. Symbolic or something for something. It's weird because at the new development, like standing there, I want to go across to the other side. I think she's in areas he's familiar with or a place he, he could keep an eye on her. But I think, I think she was at Puma and then moved because she crossed it off in the last reading. Could be misunderstanding, but that's what it felt like. Maybe they got too close. She's easy to move, sadly. There is something about where T 
T lives, too. I mean, yeah, the Denver house has something. There's definitely some kind of evidence in or around. Or something happened there. But this is the other house as well. You know you can see a pond. I don't know. Oh, you know you can see a pond from the other house. I guess is an evergreen. Um, it's right. It's the right placement of the last reading. But I can't tell what the house looks like. I don't know if they fixed it or anything. Because it doesn't, as it was posted for when they sold it, it doesn't look like the house I saw. But it looks in the right placement. Because if you look down, I mean, you do take a, a windy road up. And it's right there on the side of the hill. And there's trees around it. And if you look down, you do see a pond. So it's in the right right placement. But it doesn't look like the house I see, unless she was showing me that placement, but then a different house. I don't know, that, that vision was all confusing, and I've been trying to figure it out. So, um, I don't know if she's just saying you can see her from the yard, his yard, or what. So, I got the word waters. And she's confirming the swirl reference that I've talked about that I was painting on my uh, dressers. I guess... She's saying it as a reference point. So saying something in that area, I guess. She gives me 37 again, so there's also something in that. She gave it last reading before I even knew where the house was. She's giving it again. So something is strong around there as well. She says that he thinks everyone is chasing their tails. I feel like he drives by or in that area or is in that area often and looks. He did want her to be in an area where he could keep an eye on, I feel like. The back of my head hurts when I said this. She shows me lemons. I have no idea why. I wonder if one of her houses had a deck where she could see a pond out in the distance. Because she shows me her sitting on a deck in the morning, air crisp, and she's sipping coffee or tea. It's warm, and it's a cup, and I could see the steam coming off of it. And she feels at peace at this time. It's a nice feeling of being out in nature and just looking at the beauty around her. She can see a pond in the distance. So the pond keeps coming in as being able to be seen. It was in the uh, first reading as well. So she says it's snow now, but I get a reference to an area that has sand or is sandy or seems sandy and has lots of dirt. I kept wanting to go behind some trailers in my mind. Um, they look like they are what you would have at a construction business or a job site you know how they bring in those trailers if they're going to be there for a little while that's what it reminds me of and she was referencing a similar picture that I saw on CC's in Instagram she shows me a flower pot I have no idea why if it's the weapon or not but that's kind of what it felt like when I was getting the information but then it flashes to a cross like at a church it would be a church that he attends or is involved with and I know Grace was mentioned last time, but she talks about the hidden hidden in plain sight, and she says Grace again. So maybe flower pots or areas that are planted flowers need to be checked for a weapon or something that he's hidden, if if there are any there. He's a landscaper, so he can put things back, and no one would know, especially if he did landscaping for the area. But she shows me a gun when she talks about this, so I'm wondering. But she was referencing my my flower pots outside, so I feel like there is something buried under flowers and flower pots or something at the church, one of the churches. I know that was a weird vision. I hope it makes sense, but nothing is too weird, I've noticed these days. So, I understand the meaning of that because of my flower pots. Reference to 55, not sure why. Also reference to 50 and 15. And I also heard 6, and she says 12, and I hear blocks, whatever that means. I don't know if she meant 12 blocks, but it kind of came in together. I look up and I see an airplane fly over, so it's possible that there's an airport in the vicinity. Um, or maybe close to an airport. I said, anything else, Suzanne? She said, yes, I love you all. And then I heard Peru. So, hopefully... I can, um... Sorry, I thought I paused it, and I was like, no. <laughs> Hopefully I can continue to do, re I'll do as many readings as I can until I feel like I'm not getting any more helpful information. 
Uh, sometimes I do one reading, sometimes I do two, sometimes I do three. I think in Dulce I did six, but as I kept doing hers, I wasn't getting a lot of information. Um, so it depends on how strong she is, how much she wants to tell me, you know, how I'm doing. So if I get to a point I can no longer help, then we'll just have to put the clues together that we have. But I'll try to help all that I can. Usually I have a cover on. I know. My dogs are all messed it up. <laughs> So, thank you for liking, subscribing, being here, believing in me, supporting me, all of that good stuff, all the good feels. Also, one more thing, um, I wanted to say, if you guys can realize what I'm talking about and it makes sense to you, please email me so I can look at the address or the area that you're talking about and see what the feeling that I get from it, because I've been get noticing I'm getting more feelings on a map. And I've been getting, you know, hits a little bit. So, if that makes sense to you, because you guys know more about the situation in him than I do. And if you can help me figure this out, I'd appreciate it. It's typed up in the group. Until next time, take care.